happier. Couldn't see him, but I could hear him. Making fun of me. Now get $200. We have seen the last of Max Vallis in the orange and blue of the Virginia Cavaliers. The six-more sophomore linebacker announcing this afternoon on Twitter that he's leaving UVA two years early to win in the 2015 NFL Draft. That decision came about a month after Vallis shot down a report that he was planning to declare for that draft this year. Vallis, a third-team All-ACC selection in 2014 after finishing second in the league in sacks last fall. Vallis joins junior defensive end Eli Harold as underclassmen leaving UVA early for April draft. Vallis only played two seasons with the Wahoos, but he's eligible for the draft this year because of the post-grad year he spent at Fork Union before enrolling at UVA. And Harold had the full support of UVA coach Mike London when he declared for the draft last month, but London's not quite as on board with Max's early departure. Here is the statement from London released by UVA this evening, quote, based on the improvement and development he showed the past two years, I felt Max Vallis was a player who could really benefit from playing another year of college football. I believe he was on the verge of blossoming into a dominant player. He took a lot of time during the semester break to think this decision through, and he feels it is the right thing for him to do at this time. I hate to see him go, but I want to wish him the best on his choice to declare for the NFL draft. The Oakland Raiders continue to try and kill the quarterback. Max Valleys out of Virginia, outside linebacker, third team all ACC, played some high school wide receiver. He's a raw athlete. Right. And look, we saw this with Neron Ball. We've seen this with a few other guys like Heaney. They're, they're trying to get after the quarterback right now. Yeah, they're adding a lot of linebackers. Like you and I talked off screen, they must, maybe they're going to a 3 4 defense. Maybe. So they need to add a lot of linebackers. Valleys came out of school early as a junior, so he is getting drafted late coming out of there. Virginia, though, they were loaded up front. They On were. the other side, Eli Harold, who got picked up by the Niners, he was able to crash the edge. He's a long, lean athlete. He's got arms. the frame to add weight. That's the important thing here. He's not a finished product, but yeah, very long, good snap anticipation. You see him on a twist and a stunt, comes last, off the tackle. Last year had nine sacks, 12 and a half tackles for loss. Could this yeah. guy play in a third down situation? Yeah, I think he could right away in a third down situation. Now, to play every down, he's going to need to bulk up, work on technique, but Ken Norton Jr., the Raiders defense coordinator, was a pretty good linebacker. Jack Del Rio, he was a pretty good linebacker, too. I'm going to give it a B plus. The value was there. He was 166 on my big board. The need, it is questionable, but if they're going to a 3-4 defense, you got to load up on those linebackers. Maybe they watched our Neron Ball video and say, Maybe. let's get somebody with a little bit more experience. The yeah. pick is Max Valley's there by the Raiders. Ran a nation going after the quarterback. We'll see what this pick can do. The handoff. Now Boychuk with pressure coming. Throws. It's intercepted by Vallis. Here he goes. He's gone. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Another pick six for this Cavalier defense on back to back weeks. And the Hoos out in front. They tried to run a screen to James Conner. Max Vallis fought off the block, went inside, intercepted it. Touchdown, Virginia.
first quarter. Cavaliers are coming. Ball's tipped. Ball's picked. Inside the 20 to the 15. Still on his feet. Inside. This kid's a ball hawk. Good hands at the line of scrimmage. It looked like maybe Coley bats the ball in the air. That's what set up their touchdown to tie the game. This is third down and long, and it's batted down again. Seven feet and banged it down. Yeah, really a nice job of elevating the hands. And Ballas, as you mentioned, is a great big athlete. Talk to John Sanuti. At the 14-yard line. 11.31 to play in the first half. Virginia's defense overruns it. Dominique Brown goes down when they come back to get him. Oh, it's so aggressive up front. Nice down to the cards. Bang it out across the five to the seven. It's all in week one. They can play. They need 15. Bonifant pulls it down, rolls right. Look out. He gets tattooed. Oh, did Bonifant take a hit by Vallis? On coverage. You've got a quarterback that's going to break contain. He breaks contain. Now watch Virginia glue to the receivers. There's nobody open here, 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 here. Nobody open to throw the football to. And Vallis with the pressure in the face of the quarterback. Boy, that's outstanding. Wow. How about that, partner? Fourth and goal. Here's Garner again. Rolls right, throws, has it. Almost caught. Should have been caught. It was dropped. It was intended for Michael Lee Harris again. Harris on this play. Right in the slot to your right. He's got his arms wrapped around him. I don't know how they didn't call that, but ultimately he tries to get him the football and he's got a new first down, new set of downs. Gardner, backside pressure, throws over the middle, and it's deflected. Well, Vallis, it's 6'5". You mentioned him a couple of times today, Tim. He does a really good job. He does get pressure. He kind of sets back, and he, and he elevates and bats the ball down here. He just steps back and, and gets that big body in the air and swats it away. Just pounding it out now with Brown. Big old Dominic Brown, 6'2", 241 pounds. Max Vallis makes the tackle. Bringing a stunt. Brown bulls his way for the first. So they got just enough. You mentioned an 18. Brown can't handle that pass. Here comes the blitz. Gardner steps up and has it batted. And there he is again, big old Max Ballas. That's his third tip ball in this game. Yeah, he really has a nice feel for this, Tim. He's going to rush off of the edge, and when he realizes he's not going to get any up the field. Louisville down two. Gardner steps up, has it batted down again. Boy, is that Ballas again? It is. This is about the fourth time the 6'5 linebacker is going to elevate. You see the twist going on up front? Good job by Louisville to sort that out and get it blocked. But Ballas realizes, hey, I'm not getting any pressure. Let me get my big frame in the air. And he, for the fourth time, he's batted one away. He's six. Max Ballas, welcome to my crib. We're dorm. Call. It's called Lion Muffin, but we call it Little Muffin. So, fun place to be. Come on in. Here we are in my room, room 529, Lion Muffin. It's me and Keon today. Last week's victory over VMI showcased many new first-year faces for the Wahoos, including Max Vallis, who earned a starting position at outside linebacker. Once I heard that I was starting, I called my high school coach. I have a very good relationship with him, so I called him and told him about it. He was very excited. He said, are you nervous? I honestly wasn't nervous until pregame. I was just like, wow, I'm about to start my first college game. Because I went from not playing a snap in the BYU and Oregon game is starting so it's just like wow I haven't even stepped on the field yet so I don't know how it's going to be. 
Despite those nerves, Vallis had an amazing opportunity on his first defensive snap. I was on a blitz on that play, so I came off the right edge next to Eli, and once I came off, I noticed I was free, but then the running back came last second, and I honestly thought he was going to block me up top. Then last second, he just dropped, and something just told me to jump, so I just jumped right over him and kept going. I got to the quarterback, and I honestly thought I tackled him, so like after the play, I was real excited, and uh, I get to the sideline, like look up at the replay and realize he threw it away. Like I had no idea I didn't get a sack. Being a first year student at UVA means that Max must live in the dorms on grounds, which has taken some getting used to. Well, this is my bed. As you can see, it's kind of small. And I have my head up here. My feet actually hang over this. I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six, so it's not the exact size that I'm used to. My fridge. Try and stay healthy as possible. So some fruit and water in here right now. I usually have Gatorade, so I have to stock up on that a little bit. So a good look at my desk here. I have my high school jersey, one of my most memorable things ever. Laptop here. Actually have a picture of the field hockey team from the game I went to. Some books from class. Got my speakers. I like to blast music every once in a while. Uh, I should have book from every game that we've had so far. Nice view of campus out here, or grounds to set at UVA. It's very good view. You can see the mountains up top. Playing three different positions this season hasn't been the biggest adjustment Vallis has had to make. Instead, it's the tough schedule that he goes through every day as a first-year student-athlete. Well, as a student, as a first year, it's at first it was pretty rough, like in the summertime. It was, a little hard getting used to, like working out before class. The first week we were here, everybody was like struggling to stay awake, but now like practicing in the morning, it's just like, it's honestly a breeze now once I get to class because I'm so used to it. And academically, it's, it's the struggle because like UVA is a pretty tough academic school, but the academic help we have, it's, it's gonna go pretty well. Well, I gotta go to class now. You know, we're a student before an athlete. Appreciate you guys coming out to see my life as a first year. Hope to see you guys at Scott Stadium next time we're at home. Go Hoos. Be happier. Couldn't see him, but I could hear him. Making fun of me. Now get $200. We have seen the last of Max Vallis in the orange and blue of the Virginia Cavaliers. The six more sophomore linebacker announcing this afternoon on Twitter that he's leaving UVA two years early to win in the 2015 NFL Draft. That decision came about a month after Vallis shot down a report that he was planning to declare for that draft this year. Vallis, a third-team All-ACC selection in 2014 after finishing second in the league in sacks last fall. Vallis joins junior defensive end Eli Harold as underclassmen leaving UVA early for April draft. Vallis only played two seasons with the Wahoos, but he's eligible for the draft this year because of the post-grad year he spent at Fork Union before enrolling at UVA. Now, Harold had the full support of UVA coach Mike London when he declared for the draft last month, but London's not quite as on board with Max's early departure. Here is the statement from London. Wojcik with pressure coming, throws, it's intercepted by Vallis. Here he goes, he's gone. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Another pick six for this Cavalier defense on back-to-back -back weeks. And the Hoos out in front. They tried to run a screen to James Conner. 
Max Valles fought off the block, went inside, intercepted it. Touchdown, Virginia! released by UVA this evening quote based on the improvement and development he showed the past two years I felt Max Vallis was a player who could really benefit from playing another year of college football I believe he was on the verge of blossoming into a dominant player he took a lot of time during the semester break to think this decision through and he feels it is the right thing for him to do at this time I hate to see him go but I want to wish him the best on his choice to declare for the NFL draft the Oakland Raiders continue to try and kill the quarterback. Max Valleys out of Virginia, outside linebacker, third-team All-ACC, played some high school wide receiver. He's a raw athlete. Right. And look, we saw this with Neron Ball. We've seen this with a few other guys like Heaney. They're, they're trying to get after the quarterback right now. Yeah, they're adding a lot of linebackers. Like you and I talked off screen, They must maybe they're going to a 3-4 defense. Maybe. So they need to add a lot of linebackers. Valleys came out of school early as a junior, so he is getting drafted late coming out of there. Uh, Virginia, though, they were loaded up front. They On were. the other side, Eli Harold, who got picked up by the Niners. Uh, he was able to crash the edge. He's a long, lean athlete. Oh, He's got arms. the frame to add weight. That's the important thing here. He's not a finished product. But, yeah, very long, good snap anticipation. You see him on a twist and a stunt, comes last, off the tackle. Last year had nine sacks, 12 and a half tackles for loss. Could this yeah. guy play in a third down situation? Yeah, I think he could right away in a third down situation. Now, to play every down, he's going to need to bulk up, work on technique. But Ken Norton Jr., the Raiders defensive coordinator, was a pretty good linebacker. Jack Del Rio, he was a pretty good linebacker, too. I'm going to give it a B plus. The value was there. He was 166 on my big board. The need, it is questionable, but if they're going to a 3-4 defense, you got to load up on those linebackers. Maybe they watched our near on ball video and say, Maybe. let's get somebody with a little bit more experience. The yeah. pick is Max Valley's there by the Raiders. Ran a nation going after the quarterback. We'll see what this pick can do.